Bien alto 0.60 eh, y como les prometimos vamos a organizar switch back to English immediately because as we said um, in the introduction of the show we are talking to Ross Rader from the Institute of Insurance and Highway Safety. How are you Ross? Great, how are you doing today? Thank you. Very, yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time and uh, talking to us. And um, you have pretty good uh, and cool news uh, from the IIHS, right? Uh, for a lot of people now that you entered the YouTube era now. <laughs> well, people are always uh, asking us um, about how we do our crash tests and what it looks like behind the scenes in uh, setting up and conducting our tests with crash test dummies and all the things that go into it. And so. We wanted to um, give people an opportunity to see that through our YouTube channel, and we've launched an eight-part series that allows people to uh, pull the curtain back and see how our engineers do their work at our test facility in Rutgersville, Virginia. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm part of the of the media who covers the in, the auto industry, and always, obviously I have a, a little bit more access than the general public. But this is amazing that you're doing this because. Uh, it's very important information for people when they're deciding. We'll just talk about the top 10 list of our best SUVs under $25,000, which was compiled by the Kelly Blue Book. And this is like another aspect of the information that most people, so not most, but some people don't even think about. And now they have this, uh, this valuable asset for them to take a decision, right? Yeah, and I think uh, it's, we know people are using our crash test ratings when they are shopping for a new vehicle and uh, seeing how all of the research that goes into those crash tests I think gives people an idea of how important the ratings are in determining the safety of the vehicle that you want to buy. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i looking at the, the YouTube channel which by the way you just go to YouTube and you type IIHS and uh, you'll find it. Uh, you Google it and it will come up uh, immediately. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool design. I was looking at um, one of the the Subaru Forester, and you already have 80,000 80, 80, views already, and, and it was posted like a week ago, so it's getting a lot of traffic, huh? Generating a lot of traffic, and it, you know, our, we've had our website for a long time to allow people to look up crash test ratings. Now with the YouTube channel, they can actually see the crash test. Uh, as they were done and see how the vehicles, um, what the uh, performance of the vehicle is visually behind those ratings. And we just released a group of tests of small SUVs. Uh, this is a group of SUVs that have undergone our new small overlap test for the first time. This is a crash in which only the front corner of the vehicle is involved in the crash. And it's a challenging test for vehicles to get through. And the Subaru Forester was one of the standouts in that test. Yeah. Um, uh, can you explain a little bit about why this test is important, uh, more important? Well, I don't know, more important or less important. It's important um, than the, the previous one that you were doing, please? Well, the uh, Institute uh, um, has uh, done front, side, rear, and rollover tests. Uh, but we continually look through the research at uh, other areas that we should be examining. And in doing that research, we saw that there was this gap in frontal crash tests in which about a quarter of the serious injuries and deaths that occur in frontal crashes are happening in this small overlap configuration mm -hmm. where only the front of uh, 20% or so of the front end of the vehicle hits another car or a tree or a pole and so we developed this test to mimic that kind of crash scenario and what we're finding is that uh, most vehicles don't do a good job in protecting people in those, those kinds of crashes and we want this test to drive improvement to fill in this gap in crash safety. Yeah. And um, which uh, of the vehicles that uh, the recent small, uh, small agencies besides the Forester has come up uh, with good ratings or water ratings for the, the test that you have recently done? Well, in this new tougher test, the Subaru Forester was the first vehicle to ace every aspect of the small overlap test, uh, doing well across the board with no demerits, earned a good rating overall, one of uh, the few vehicles to do that. The Mitsubishi Outlander Sport uh, earned an acceptable rating in the small overlap test. So both of these, these vehicles are designated as what we call top safety pick plus. 
meaning they do well in uh, the Institute's uh, regular crash tests, and now they're earning good or acceptable ratings in this tougher small overlap test. Uh, a lot of vehicles, uh, a number of vehicles did poorly or earned marginal ratings in the test. The BMW X1, the Honda CRV, the Mazda CX-5, and the Volkswagen Tiguan, as well as the Nissan Rogue and the Jeep Wrangler two-door earned marginal ratings. And another uh, five vehicles are rated poor. Yeah, and then the list is very important because obviously I, I, I'm, I'm well. We're talking. I'm, I'm watching the videos actually without sound, obviously. But um, it's pretty impressive. What's the speed of the of the test? Uh, about 40 miles an hour, I believe. Yes, it's 40 miles per hour, and the vehicle comes down a 600 foot runway and crashes into a uh, rigid barrier that's meant to represent the front end of another car or a tree or a pole, some sort of narrow object, and uh, it the vehicle hits that barrier with just a 20% overlap, which means that just it's basically just at the left headlight, and that typically misses the main crash absorbing structures that are centered in the front end of the vehicle. Yeah, it's pretty dramatic um, because not only the impact of the car against the barrier, but also when uh, when you go the, the video goes in slow motion and you see the action of the airbags in some of the cars the the dummy goes sideways from the from the airbag which obviously probably protects a little bit but not as much as the other ones right so it takes every aspect of the safety systems in the car yeah you want the structure of the vehicle to hold up well uh, because if it doesn't then it's more likely that uh, the steering wheel is going to move away from the driver, and that takes the uh, frontal airbag with it. Uh, so what we're seeing in a lot of the poor performers is that if that structure collapses and the steering wheel moves, the uh, driver's head wants to move to the left, yeah. while the steering wheel wants to move to the right, and you get that gap between the frontal airbag and the side curtain airbag, and it's more likely that the driver's head is going to hit something hard, which you don't want, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I mean, the, not only the airbag that comes out from the wheel, but also I, I'm seeing in the video that, that some of the new SUVs, even the compact ones, have the, the, the knee airbag, which is also very, very important, right? We don't know whether the knee airbag um, adds a lot to protection yet, uh, but certainly the front airbag and the side curtain airbag need to work together to protect the upper body. And uh, that is a, a key part of this, because if the driver's dumb, if the driver comes in contact with uh, the hard parts of the interior or um, hard structures that are coming in to the vehicle in the crash, then it's much more likely that they'll sustain serious injuries. Yeah, we're talking to Ross Rader from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and uh, Ross, the website is iihs.org. That's correct, right? Yep, and you can see all of the ratings that we've done there, and uh, including these new small SUV tests. Yeah, and uh, let me ask you, I'm, I'm watching the videos and I'm, I'm seeing, like, to prepare the test, it has to be very, very precise because you don't want to miss, I mean, you're destroying the car, but you want it to do it in the right way, right? <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting process. It actually takes two days to prepare a vehicle for uh, a test like this. Uh, starting with draining the uh, flammable fluid, like the gasoline, out of the vehicle, uh -huh. putting all the instrumentation in, and getting the dummy ready. It's a long process. Yeah, and you get one shot, right? You don't want to spend another whatever, $25,000 every time you do it. <laughs> you got to do a lot of the preparation to make sure you get it right, because it's a very expensive mistake if you don't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but very valuable information for the public, and now that it's in YouTube, I think it's even more... Uh, it, it takes a, a, another level of relevance for people who have access to this. And just like, uh, as I was seeing the, the video while we were talking, just the images are so powerful that it really conveys a very powerful message to for the, for the public. Yeah, we hope that it gives people a, a better sense of how important uh, safety ratings are and the crash testing that's done. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Russ. Uh, always a pleasure to talk to you. Very important information from the Institute. Uh, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. So I hope to talk to you soon uh, again, and maybe one day we'll visit the, the lab, or lab there and uh, and see something of this life. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. Happy to do it. Thank you very much, Russ.
Pues ahí tiene la información sobre el Instituto de Aseguradoras y Seguridad en las Carreteras, demostrando cómo es que hacen las pruebas de los choques que eh, en el pasado eran un poco... No, no secretas, pero no teníamos tanto acceso como tenemos ahora a través del canal de YouTube. Eh, pueden ahora, eh, no voy a decir disfrutar, pero pueden eh, mirar eh, los videos y darse cuenta en realidad de lo importante que son todos los sistemas de seguridad en los autos y cómo eh, en realidad un impacto a 40 millas por hora que en realidad no pareciera ser una velocidad tan, tan elevada, puede causar tanto daño en la cabina y sobre todo con esta nueva prueba que están haciendo de un lado del auto, el 20% del lado frontal izquierdo del auto, cómo puede impactar eso en el, los resultados que en algunos casos pueden ser fatales. Así que los dos modelos que salieron mejor en esta prueba por ahora son la Forester, Subaru Forester 2014 y la Mitsubishi Outlander también del 2014. Eh, vamos a colocar también obviamente el link al video para que a, en nuestro canal de Facebook, perdón, al canal de YouTube del de Instituto para que puedan ver esos videos.